All right, guys, welcome back to Break 75, episode number 10. Down here at the stunning Royal Liverpool, home of next year's Open Championship. So as this week, you're watching the best players in the world tackle St. Andrews for the 150th Open. Next year, this is where the circus will be coming to town. The grandstands will be up and all the golfing excitement will be right here. So today, I'm going to see if I can battle this golf course. I've got to be honest with you, it's really, really windy. And currently, on the clock there, it says it's 6.40 a.m. Super early in the morning, we're going to head out. Now, interestingly, this hole right here that runs in front of the clubhouse is the actual first hole. But in the open, they don't play it this way around. They start on the 17th. That's their first hole. So they do 17, 18, one and two, and then come down here as the third hole. So they finish on that green right there with the red flag and normally there's grandstands wrapped around this green as the last hole. So we're gonna play it that way around. I'm joined today by Guy as well, because this is an open venue he's never played before. Right, Royal Liverpool, Hoy Lake, let's go and get it. Break 75. Um, it's gonna be really, really tough. Uh-oh! <laughs> now this is proper rough. <laughs> it feels like a kind of a three-club wind as well. Hopefully the downhole winds will be gettable, but any hole into wind is going to be tough. Now, a couple of changes to the golf course. There has been a new par 3 built, which is the 17th. It's only a short par 3. However, I've been told already it could be a potential card wrecker. But let's not worry about it just yet. We've got a few more holes before we get there. So this is our first hole, par four, sweeping dog leg just to the left. Couple of bunkers down there in position. Uh, let's go. Do you, want to, do you want to start us off, Guy? Yes, okay, I'm quite scared. That'll work. That is the first shot and it's in the deep rough. <laughs> this could be a very long round of golf. Okay, 180 yards away, first hole in the rough. And I must admit, it's actually not that bad here, but I've snagged the horrible light. It's really sat down. We have to smash a five iron at it. Yeah, not quite got there. Short of the bunker, I hope. <laughs> this might have been my favorite shot. Tight lie, over, over a bunker, not a lot of green to work with, but I've got to stay positive. It's on the green. <laughs> not my best strike. Yes. Yes. That pass. <laughs> First foot of the day. Week. Yep. Stay away from that bunker. I kind of understand why when Tiger won here, he literally hit irons off every tee. I think he may have hit driver once in the whole round. Because finding fairways is definitely key. Wow, I thought it was actually pretty good, you know. The hard bit is as well, once it gets on the green, the amount of slope. I've got to aim this so far left. It's trying its best. Ah, bogey, bogey start. And as last time I'm going to mention it, for the members, normal play, this is the first hole. It's a severe dog leg to the right. You've got to try and knuckle like something long into the corner and then it's not an easy shot from there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. That's oh, a long shot in there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was very nice. Look at that. Laying up on a par four. So nice. Never get in there, but. 
That could be amazing. Yeah, good shot. Sorry. Only three more clubs than I needed. <laughs> and it's still a little bit short. I'm on the bogey express. Three bogeys to start the round. It's what everyone wants, right? I think it's break 80 today, truthfully. It's that hard. I think if you break 80 today, that's a very good number. Unless the wind suddenly just dies, which I can't see happening. God, even with an iron, it's hard to hit a fairway. Just come in the rough. It's actually not that bad, and it's opened up the pin. I'm 110 to the front of the green, 128 to the flag. Uh, I feel like I really need to give myself some looks at birdie. <laughs> no, that's not there. Kind of got lucky and unlucky there. A foot or two further on, it wouldn't have hit the down slope and would have probably finished at the front of the green. The fact it hit the down slope of the bump at the short of the green and kind of ran and ran and ran. The good news is though, it clung onto the back edge because from memory, back of the green isn't a nice place to be on this. So putting for birdie, I shouldn't grumble. Shouldn't grumble for one second. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The show is on the road. <laughs> show is the back road. On the show road. is on. Don't turn off just yet. The Rick Shields Road Show. <laughs> this semi five ain't done just yet. <laughs> Fifth hole, straight back into the wind. Ever so slight dog leg to the left. Good strong tee shot required. That last put gave me some nice confidence. Oh yes, great drive. That was mullered. So I'm 300 yards away from this green. I mean, that means I probably hit that driver about 220 yards. I go three iron. Oh, that's a raking draw. This rough is like a magnet for the golf ball. It just keeps trundling in there. I'm 120 yards away from the flag. I'm gonna chip a nine iron right back into the wind. Wind, wind, wind! How has that gone so far? That has literally gone 70 yards long. Honestly, how has that gone so far? I've literally hit it 50 yards long. I'm in a horrible situation, I'm downwind. Not a lot's going for me here. <sighs> I honestly thought I'd played the right shot just a minute ago, but it just came out so fast. <laughs> Commit less, arguably even harder. That could be God, that could be God. Yeah, nice shot. Stay, 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 stay. Yeah, one shot. What's up? Yes. Right in the middle, good putt. Yep. Ah, oh, six, silly six, but could have been worse. Okay, six hole, par three. There's 170 to pin, straight back into the tee. So I've got four eyes, it's probably like, I'm using this as like a three club wind. Get there, get there. I'm gonna attempt a kind of stingery back footer chips, kind of just something low. Hopefully, something good. Oh, this looks nice. Get there. Nice. <laughs> okay, good look at Birdie here. I'm really happy with the iron shot I've hit into this green. This would be a real pick me up. Ah. Par that though. Yeah, take a par there. 130 yards to the flag, severely downwind. 
probably going to land this about 110 and just hope it runs and finishes where it needs to finish. Just getting pushed and pushed and pushed. Kind of started on line and then it feels like the wind's kind of coming off the left a little bit as well. So it's kind of just pushed it way over to the right hand side of the green. Really hard when it's playing wind like this. Okay, this golf course is giving you nothing. Nada, zilch. Because even the holes downwind are so hard to get close to the flag. I mean, I'm, I played a really bad wedge shot there. I was a bit annoyed myself, and obviously my long range put off the green wasn't good at all. Um, making bogeys for fun, four over now through seven. I just feel like there needs to be light at the end of the tunnel where I can make a few birdies, hopefully. I don't know if this is the whole part four straight back into wind. 380 yards. So normally you'd think it was somewhat gettable, but straight back into the teeth, out of bounds down the left, bunkers protecting the right. Requires a beautiful tee shot, it really does. Oh no. My ball must be in here somewhere. I've definitely not reached that bush. Tight this four, lucky, lucky boy. Wasn't a good tee shot, but I got away with it. I'm trying to find a line. It's really hard, that bush is right in the way. It's kind of just straight over that bit there. I'm 136 yards away. Middle of the green. I should be happy with that, but I feel like I, I hit it even more online than it's finished. Come on, it'd be nice to sneak in a long range effort. Can't get it close to the hill. How did that just go straight right? Oh. Okay, ninth hole, par three, 183 yards. Wind's kind of off the right, slightly down. So easy to make bogeys out here. Hard to make pars and birdies. Okay, second shot into this par three. It's kind of kicked and hopped and jumped way kind of long, really. Um, Got to try and chip it close. <laughs> Spin. Uh, I can't get anything like close. Stone. Now that wasn't a terrible chip, but it's just everything just seems to run away from you. Par puts are not gimmies. What effort. Oh, Christ. So I'm sticks over through nine, which is terrible score, really is. Um, I made one par, one birdie, and the rest broke. <laughs> oh, that should be absolutely perfect. Yeah, should be good, that one. Should be massive. Okay, so I found the wispy stuff again after what I thought was a great drive. Um, this might be a shot I look back at and regret. Back into wind, I'm just gonna try and rattle the three wood at it. Oh my, giddy on. Definitely bounced, but. How, how has it gone that far, right? Right, I can see the ball, and it could have been a lot worse. It could have been better but it's kind of in a weird spot. So there's the green. That's where I should be hitting it towards. You know that yellow flag where I was aiming. I've hit it up here on the right hand side, which actually the next hole going this way. And it's finished here, which I'm not sure how to feel about that. Cause it's kind of, it's on the short grass, yes, but with a lot of long grass behind it. Go. You know what? I'm actually all right with that. 
I'm at peace with that shot. There's a small victory I've got to put for birdie on this hole. <sighs> yep. Oh, it's a five, but a scrappy, scrappy, scrappy five. Okay, so as we get onto the tee here on 11, the first time we can actually see the sea. Well, this is the River Dee, and then beyond that, you've got the Irish Sea. This is where that bloody wind's coming from. <laughs> when you can see wind turbines on a golf course, you know it's going to be windy. Yeah, great shot. That should be absolute money. You know, in different wind, I'm sure I've nearly driven this green in the past. Now with this wind into, I'm 140 yards away from the flag. Straight back into wind, slightly off the left as well. Can't see the bottom of the flag, so I'm gonna try and land it where I can see and let the wind just kind of move it back in. Strike, great. Oh, that, that, it that should could, be phenomenal. That could be in the hole. That was, that was so pure, that. That was really nice. Right, so we're walking down and currently I can't see a ball near the flag, which is where the ball should be, because I'm sure that's where it landed. Oh, it's short. Oh. Is it short? Oh, it's miles short. <laughs> Bloody hell. What an anticlimax, eh? <laughs> I honestly thought that was a proper, proper golf shot. I thought I controlled it nicely, struck it well, judged it perfectly. The fact I've hit it 20, 20 yards short of the flag. <laughs> oh, Ricky. It's like three options. The first option is, or should I say, what, what's the issues? It's in the rough slightly, but it's that okay. Right in front of me, everything kicks right. Once it gets up on the green, everything kicks down and left. I could try and fly it over all of that, but I don't feel reliable I can make it stop quick enough. I can try and bump it, but the problem with bump and running it is this bank, if I, if I get it flying into that bank, it could kick more severely to the right. But then putting it is hard because I'm basically in the rough. So all three shots. It's not, a, it's not kind of simple. <sighs> I do think the safest one is putting. And that's not, I did, I did really want to chip this one. But I just think there's no massive benefit because it's, it's too high tariff. That's a fantastic shot, that. I think that was the right choice. <laughs> In the end, that was the right choice. Yeah, take a par. Thought I'd played that whole near perfect, but good drive, good iron shot, but wasn't meant to be. God, it's not giving me anything this golf course today. Nothing. And now, the last hole threw me out because I'm the same distance as I was on the last. And I have it. <laughs> wow, good footwork. Oh, there's just so many things to think about. I'm just going to play a little chippy, runny 7 iron up there. Be good. That's actually not bad. It's pin high. It just kind of squirted a little bit to the left. Flipping it. So hard that put. I can't believe that's finished low. I thought it started that well too high. <sighs> Why did it never drop in? The putting is really doing my head in. I feel like I'm doing like a lot of the hard bits to actually get it to the green. You are? Tee shots are good. Approaches have been decent and good. Like that last hole, I played, uh, granted, I had a good tee shot, just got snagged up in the rough. I played a really good linksy, like chippy seven iron. Yeah. Exactly how I should do it, but then get the kind of wrong side of the pin. Oh, that, this could be a hole in one. Take a big dig. That's outrageous. Yeah, I'm all right with that. Good news, I didn't shank my tee shot. 
Bad news, I'm in this bunker. It's quite a long way to the flag as well, probably 40 yards. Howling wind into, so I'm gonna get sand in my eyes, I'm sure. Ah, oh my God. Yeah, I'll survive. <laughs> my ball is right on the back edge there, just past the flag. But anything right, a few yards right, I'm down into that valley. Would have made it a lot harder. Cannot get the speed at all. Yes, well done, you needed that one, well done. I think. Win, win. Dog leg, blind shot. Uh, this is probably where I should play safe, but we're not here to play safe. It's all right. Great for speed, just bad for line. Wow. <laughs> I'm so happy with that golf shot. That could have gone so wrong. Oh. Ooh, okay. Nothing will go in. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fancy longest drive challenge? I will go for the, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really fancy it. <laughs> Oh my, are you sure you don't fancy it? Oh my, absolute word. No, I pulled it. Ah, what a waste. You win. Okay, after literally hitting it one foot off the semi rough into this slightly longer rough, I'm, that drive must have gone a long way because I'm only 160 yards to the front on this par five. Downwind, I'm going to hit a pitching wedge out of this rough. I just need to carry it probably about 150 yards and it'll skip and hop. And let's hope gives me a good look at Eagle. Oh, get down. Yeah, stay there, stay there. Oh, that was a bit weird. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I really got to just hit this so good. <laughs> There's no other way around it. Oh, be phenomenal. There, there is golf in there somewhere. There is, honestly. You scratch deep enough, you find a golfer. Can't, never, none of them ever look like they're going in either. Some par that though. It was, no, listen, it was, I'd take a par, definitely. It's just frustrating when you've had a nice look at birdie. Okay, this is a brand new hole here at Royal Liverpool. It's playing in the open as the 17th, but I think in normal play it's the 15th. This hole isn't long, 133 yards, but it's sat on a plateau. This could be a real car wrecker. <laughs> and really, I've got to make one more birdie, either on this hole or the 18th, to break 80 today. I'm currently eight over. That might not be too bad if it stays there. Go away. Oh, has it gone massive? Or? I think that's okay. Right, so walking up there, this is what everybody is scared of on this hole. Because it doesn't look like a big mouth, but I want to show you something in a minute. Do you like these sand scrapes, guys? Yes, I wouldn't like to be in them, but I think, look, they add a lot to the hole, don't they? Have you got a ball in your pocket there? Yeah. Let's say your ball is coming, it's right towards the flag, you think this is absolute money, but it lands short, 
and with a bit of backspin, it plops in there. <laughs> Should have a little nearest the fin. Go on then. Round two. Huge open face, hands low, hit with absolute speed and sand in the eyes. That's phenomenal. Well done. Really good shot. Oh, that could be good as well. Big. Oh. Winner. You win. Seeing that you won, I'll rate the bunker, Thank sir. you. <laughs> this is my loser's forfeit. Can we add more footprints as well? <laughs> Oh, that took a huge swing at the end. But yeah, they literally don't go close to the hole. Yeah, well done. Okay, driver's out. I'm gonna try and push for a, a birdie to finish. Oh, that's, that's the drive of the day. Low spin, high bomb. That will be absolutely miles. That's gonna be a 330 drive. I'm 200 yards away from the green, but the pin is, looks like it's tucked viciously back left. Um, so just getting on the green isn't going to be particularly easy. I'm going to try and play it into the mouth of the green, short, let it run up and just give myself an opportunity to two put birdie. End up bailing out a bit too far to the right, really. Today's been a real test and one that sometimes you've just got to reset your mind for something like today. You're not going to make in my instance, I'm not going to make loads of birdies because they don't come very often. You've got to capitalise when you can. Bogies, sometimes, it's not great to say, but sometimes bogey's an okay score on some holes. Um, yeah, I think I could have done better. Obviously, my putting could have been a lot better today. And I could have easily shot a much lower score. I still think I could have, broken, I could have broke 75 today, I do. Because I've actually hit it okay. It's just that I've not given myself enough chances. I'm going to get up and down to try and shoot 79. Sit. Oh, still need to work on that chipping as well. Slow, 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 slow. Ah. That's only, a great score. Only, Honestly, that's a great score. The only part I've got in today. <laughs> Thanks, Well pal. done, mate. That was good. Pleasure. Unbelievable score, that. Well done. Oh. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Enjoyed it. Tough test. We'll see you next week. Episode 11. Oh, time now for some brekkie. We've played around the golf. It's not even 11 o'clock yet. Peace.